Hello everyone. Good afternoon. I'm Audrey and this afternoon we'll discuss one of the eye conditions na bihirang mapag-usapan. So ano ba ito? Ito yung uveitis. And because we're talking about a topic that's very interesting and a little bit unusual, makakasama natin today si Dr. Cheryl Arstinwe. She'll be explaining what uveitis is and how it can affect one's vision. Kaya naman, join us for another Ask Your Asian Eye Doctor Facebook Live Q&A session. And before we discuss the discussion, uh, we, before we start the discussion, kilalanin muna natin si Dr. Ersinwe. So, Dr. specializes in retina and vitreous diseases, uveitis, and ocular immunology, as well as cataract and comprehensive ophthalmology. She completed her medical degree at UP Manila and her residency training at UP PGH. After that, she pursued clinical fellowship in uveitis and ocular immunology at the Massachusetts Eye Research and Surgery Institute and then her retina and vitreous diseases at the University of California, San Diego, Shiley Eye Center. So she's conducted various presentations and has been published in international publications as well. She's also affiliated with several local and international scientific organizations, including the Philippine Academy of Ophthalmology, the Vitreo Retina Society of the Philippines, and the American Society of Retina Specialists and also the International Ocular Inflammation Society and the Philippine Ocular Inflammation Society. So, medyo maraming affiliations to Doctora. And she also serves as an associate professor at the UP College of Medicine and is a medical specialist at the Rizal Medical Center. So, Doc, um, UVI, this sounds so complicated. It sounds so unusual. Ano ba ito? Hello. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Muna. Hi, Doc. <laughs> So, yung uveitis, uh, actually, me major rare na condition ito. Um, it's uh, ang parang literal na ano niya, yung general meaning niya is ocular inflammation. Okay? So, or in Tagalog, pamamaga sa loob ng mata. Okay? So, uh, it can usually affect any part of our eye. So, okay. Um, may different kinds. Ah, wait. Tatanungin mo na ba yun sa akin? O tuloy, discuss ko na lang, no? Yes, Doc, kasi you, you said that pwede siyang pamabaga, pwede yung different parts of the eye. So kapag sinabi kasi natin pamabaga, ang first thought, ah, ibig sabihin nun, pula yung mata ko. But is it just yeah. on the outside or pwede siyang on the inside? So yung pamumula, uh, nakikita natin usually, yes, nakikita natin siya dun sa white part ng mata natin. No? Mm -hmm. So in uveitis, nor usually, uh, namumula yung white part ng mata, but not all the time. Okay, so mm -hmm. it can affect any part of our eye uh, from the front all the way dun sa loob na parts na yung mga hindi natin nakikita, like in the picture. No? So any part dyan can be affected all the way from your cornea and sclera sa all the way to the vacuum optic nerve. And it's marami siyang causes, no? So, uh, more usually, uh, we work up the patient para malaman kung ano yung cause. So, ano yung mga common na pwedeng mag-cause, no? Uh, yung first, yung tinatawag natin idiopathic, mm -hmm. after natin i-work up lahat ng no possible na pwedeng cause, uh, wala tayong nakita. Okay? So, ibig sabihin ng idiopathic is no known cause. Okay? Uh -huh. Pwede siyang uh, autoimmune conditions. No? So, for example, meron kang ibang autoimmune conditions sa ibang parts ng katawan mo. For kunyari, rheumatoid arthritis, ganun. then it can also affect the eyes. No? But pwede rin pong autoimmune condition na sa eyes lang din. Okay? So pwede rin siyang mag-cause uh, caused by infections. So for example, TB, that's one of the most common causes of uveitis in the Philippines. So, we usually work up the patient for TB. Lahat ng uveitis cases for possible intraocular TB. And there's a misconception na if say TB or tuberculosis, akala ng mga tao na sa lungs lang yun, tapos inuubo sila, yung gano'n. Look, din man ako yung umubo, gano'n, din man ako, gano'n ako fever. So, pwedeng Normally, wala po talaga sa lungs, no? Yung mm -hmm. sa mga taong may virus. Normally, pagka uh, caused by TB yung problem sa eyes, uh, wala kang sakit sa lungs, no? So, 
Um, yung other causes pa po infection, pwede pong sexually transmitted diseases like syphilis, um, HIV pwede, CMV retinitis, so ang daming viral infections. Uh, and other, yung mga parasitic infections pwede, o toxoplasma, toxocara, sobrang daming infections na pwede mag-cause. And then yung other uh, fourth cause is pwede rin pong malignancy, okay, so, or cancer. Uh, pwede po siyang... Uh, cancer sa loob ng mata mismo or pwedeng may cancer ka sa ibang part ng katawan mo. For example, sa ating mga babae, like pink, nakapink ako ngayon, breast cancer, no? Uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> cancer appearance. Uh, breast cancer, pwedeng, actually may mga ibang cases na hindi nila alam na meron pala silang, sabi natin, cancer, no? Tapos, uh-uh. may something sa mata. Tapos, makikita namin, pag in namin kayo na, wait lang, ha, parang medyo, suspicious, tapos i-work up ka namin, tapos yun, minsan, dun lumalabas na kumalat na po pala yung, let's say, yung cancer sa ibang part ng katawan, kumalat na po sa mata, and that can also manifest as EVIT. So, very, ano siya, na malaki po yung scope ng sakit. Nung condition talaga. Yes. Okay. So, so Doc, you were saying kasi that there are some cases na meron siyang signs, like you were saying, man, minsan may pamabaga sa loob or sa labas ng mata, and in some cases, even when you're trying to determine ano bang nag-cause nito, posibleng wala kayong matrace. Yes. Mm-hmm. So for a regular person na merong uveitis, ano yung pinaka-common na signs and symptoms na meron ka dito? Okay, so normally a patient with uveitis will have redness, okay, or pamumula. Uh, dito sa white part ng mata natin, no? Nakita ko red man. Oo, um, ganyan. Pwedeng, yes, ganyan, no? Pwedeng literally ganyan talaga siya, red na red. Blurring of vision, okay, or malabo. No? Um, photophobia, or yung mas, pag nasilawan ng bright light, yung mata mo masakit. Hindi siya yung parang normal lang na nasisilaw ako, ganun, hindi. More on, parang may masakit pain. Masakit talaga. No? Oh. Yeah, with bright lights. No? Na-feel na lang may pain. Uh, pwedeng floaters, no? May mga black spots na lumulutang sa vision. Pwedeng yun yung other cause, or... Um, yun yung mga common no, for innovation. Yes. And then yung mga ganyan na, um, na condition ba? Something like uveitis ba do? Does it develop slowly over years? Or can it happen na um, in a month I could develop it? Uh, well, it's not like cataract na parang gradually progressing. No? Normally, yung mga uh, first cases na nangyayari to, sudden lang, no? pa- parang wala lang, nagising lang sila, tapos namumula yung mata nila. Tapos ah, hindi okay. nila alam. Like, ang redness kasi in, sa mata, um, it could be caused by so many conditions. No? For example, uh, pwedeng sore eyes lang yan. No? But, yun yung, ano, yun yung mga mild lang yan. Ano? But, it could be uveitis, pwedeng glaucoma. You know? There are so many Uh, may, kaya mahirap, like, kunyari, na, na teleconsult ka, tapos sinabi mo lang red, we have to probe into your history. Uh, yung, so, may detailed na mga tanong tayo para ma, ma, mas ma-direct yung, yung differentials na tinatakot. Yung doctor, ma, mas mafo-focus niya yung, yung mga possible na nangyayari sa mata mo. So, pa, aside from yung symptoms sa mata, in UVI, it is important yung symptoms in other parts of the body. So, we call this review of systems, no? So, iniisa-isa natin yan. Or, nagkakasing ako ba lagi? May headache ka ba? Back pain, joint pain, skin rashes, no? Um, so, hindi lang siya yung, baka naman parang, ano, no? Bakit si Doko, ano lang tinatanong? Ganun. So, uh-huh. yung uveitis kasi nga, pwede, meron kang ibang sakit sa ibang part ng katawan mo. That, that, affects the eyes. No? So, we really have to really go into your history na. History mo, nagka-sakat ka na, yun na, nagka-TV ka na ba, nag-treat, nag-gamot na na, di ba? Or even sexual history, like, yun nga, di ba? Marami pong pwedeng itanong to focus the, to, para makafocus tayo kung ano ba talaga yung possible na nangyayari sa eyes. Okay. And then, Doc, binanggit mo, like, one of the symptoms that might be asked is kung, kung madalas ka magpuro ng singaw. Yes. So that's a manifestation kasi na posibleng may other um, conditions sa katawan. 
the mm-hmm. kumbaga pinagdadaanan yung this recurrent, oh, recurrent na singa oh, hindi lang yung parang nakagat mo lang yung mm-hmm. yung dito mahabang kumakain sa kasinga ko ganun I- iba yon but it's like parang in a year five times ka or oh, six oh. times ka kasi na okay. parang wala lang wala lang oh tapos um yun associated to with other symptoms sa sa katawan eh. pwede rin mag may ulcers sa sa ari or sa either sa male or sa female pwedeng nagkaka parang uh, genital ulcers na hindi naman siya sexually transmitted no it could be an autoimmune condition okay so, yes hindi naman automatic na pag meron ka no meron ka ng sexually transmitted disease hindi naman pero pwede pwede oo pero um, it's not, not always yes, oo okay and then doc itong uveitis ba um nagsisimula ba lang ba siya sa isang bata or it affects both Yes, so it could be only one eye. Pwede rin siyang parehong mata at the same time. May mga iba nagsiswitch, no? Minsan right eye, tapos minsan pag umulit sa left, tapos mm-hmm. right na naman ganun. May mga ibang conditions ganun, nagsiswitch, switch, or may iba, laging isang mata lang, always the right eye. O, merong iba talagang, yeah, sabay at the same time, yung condition. Okay. And then, Doc, yung condition about na to, is it only in adults or can it actually happen to children also? It can also happen to children. No, Yung in children, um, meron, yung mas common is yung uh, mga kids na meron silang juvenile idiopathic arthritis. Ito yung common condition na nagkukos ng uveitis ay. So, yung juvenile idiopathic arthritis, parang imagine may mga bata, may rayuma na sila, bata pa lang sila. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, pag ang ang recommendations kasi natin dito sa sa na ito for example yung anak nyo na diagnose na diagnose na meron itong sakit na ito JIA yung short na tawag natin dito or yung ng juvenile idiopathic arthritis which is an autoimmune condition kung ma-diagnose yung anak nyo nito usually fina um ang recommendation is to have their eyes checked by an ophthalmologist. Um, yung frequency, depend, may mga guidelines yan depending dun sa risk. No? But, kasi ang, bakit, bakit kailangan i-check? No? Sabi mo, eh wala namang naramdaman yung, mat, yung, yung anak ko eh. Di ba? Bakit mm-hmm. kailangan i-check eh? Uh-huh. Yung joints niya, bakit kailangan i-check sa ofta? Kasi yung, itong sakit na to, normally, hindi ko namumula yung mata. No? Tapos, So, yung parents, hindi nila alam na may problem pala yung anak nila. Tapos yung kids, hindi naman nila alam malabo din yung vision nila. Kasi kung ganun na talaga yung nakasanayan nila na vision nila, they have no idea na malabo pala to. Diba? So, they have no, kumbaga parang baseline na alam nila kung malino or malabo. So, yung kids won't tell the parents malabo or and the parents won't know na na may problem pala. So that's why yung mga ganitong condition, they they usually have regular eye exams para ma-detect siya mm-hmm. maaga, which is important because it could lead to blindness because of the complications that can uh, arise from this condition sa mata. No? Mm-hmm. So, ang daming possible complications that na the earlier the diagnosis and the treatment, the better yung magiging uh, vision niya long term. Okay. So I think doc, the way that you describe it, it's one of those conditions na it's important na just because you have been diagnosed with a specific problem sa katawan mo, it doesn't mean that there is no effect on another part of your body. Exactly. Alam mo, sobrang dami kong maiisip na sakit sa ibang parts ng katawan. Pwedeng maka-affect sa like for example, lupus or uh-huh. SLE, yun yung mga systemic lupus, erythematosus, lupus, yun yung mga tawag SLE. That's one condition. Pwede maka-affect sa eyes yan. I've, I've had patients na parang halos sabulag na sila. No? Um, eh, na hindi pa nila alam actually na may lupus pala sila. Minsan, yung ay yung unang manifestation ng mga ibang sakit sa katawan. Okay, so, I see. Okay. Yeah, so, eto, yan, yung Bichette's disease, which is also an autoimmune condition. Yung Void ko yun, Nagi Harad, na sinab. Sobrang daming sakit. Ito yung sa bata, JIA. Yung mga infectious conditions, no? HIV, uh, yan. Maraming pwede maging sakit yan na na-affect yung eyes. Okay. So, 
even yung psoriasis no or rheumatoid arthritis no mm-hmm. nakala mo sa balat lang pero in fact meron din yeah. sa mata Grabe yung spondylitis parang nagbabak in nugget or back pain common sa mga lalaki lalaki yan um yun yun yung common na nagko-cause ng uveitis sa eyes ay okay. yeah uveitis eh. Hmm. And then, Doc, kapag, let's say, na-diagnose isang pasyente with this condition, are there specific things na specifically hindi na nila pwedeng gawin or kailangan nilang iwasan? So, yung number one na naiisip mo, if you are diagnosed with this, yung sinasabi ko lagi sa patient ko, first, you have to avoid stress. No? Kasi the stress can trigger it um, and it can worsen the condition. Um, minsan kasi, what happens is, uh, you get a viral infection. For example, sabihin natin, not necessarily COVID or any viral infection. For example, nagka, ano ka lang, uh, ubosipon, ganyan, no? Yung viral infection ito, it triggers your immune system. No? Tapos yung immune system mo, parang nagkaka, medyo nagbubulo siya. <laughs> no? Parang, uh-huh. at, yeah, yun yung, tapos ito yung nagsisimula nung, immune response na parang abnormal. And uh-huh. ito yung one of the parang nag-trigger pwedeng first episode ng mediaitis. Then when you get it, minsan nagiging recurrent na siya. No? Okay. So, yung, yung ano, stress, yun yung number, number one na I tell my patients. Yung second is smoking and I can't stress it enough. Yung smoking, uh-huh. hindi siya pwede kung meron pang mediaitis and Actually, for me, hindi siya, hindi siya pwede for the health of your eyes. No? Kasi um, yung smoking, baka iniisip kasi ng mga tao sa lungs nang na-affect. No? Hindi, no? Pati yung mata natin na-affect. And one of the conditions na pwedeng mag-worsen siya yung itong uveitis. And uh, not related to the topic, but long-term pag tumanda ko niya, smoker ka ngayong 20s ka, no? mga heavy Bata pa naman ako, hindi wala naman sakit, ganyan. So, super uh-huh. cut. Tapos, pagdating mo ng mga 60 or 70 years old mo, doon, doon mo makikita yung effects ng paninigarilyo mo. And it's one, yung, itong condition na sinasabi ko is yung macular degeneration, which can cause okay. central vision, permanent central vision loss, no? which is totally out of the topic. Pero yun, smoking, yung hindi pwede uh-huh. eh. Um, other uh-huh. than the use of food, um, wala naman unless related siya dun sa sakit mo na meron kang specific talaga na sinabi ng uh, doctor, other doctor mo na bawal mo kainin. Have to avoid. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Yung specifically for uveitis, um, wala naman, but syempre you have to eat healthy. No? Yun, hindi naman pwedeng unhealthy for example. Oo. Uh-huh. Pag- Kung may condition ka na talagdagan mo pa siya with an unhealthy diet. Oh, yan, yun. Yun yung naisip ko na parang activities na hindi mo pwedeng gawin. So, smoking, tapos yung stress, yan. Bawal yung stress, no? Hmm. Emotional, physical, yung stress na pwedeng gawin. Kailangan talaga stress. iwasan, no, Doc? And then, Doc, hmm. kasi uveitis, it sounds like it can really... It, once, let's say, sumampong siya today. So, they come hmm. to see you. Um, anong klaseng treatment usually ang ginagawa for a patient that has this condition? So, first... Then, syempre, we will get a thorough history, no? Tapos, physical exam. Um, then, uh, sa akin, normally, on first visit, kung wala ka pang diagnostic test, so we, uh-huh. we usually uh, dilate your pupils para ma-check po yung loob ng mata, no? All the way yung sa retina and sa optic nerve, no? Then, okay. depending sa findings, I usually order diagnostic tests, no? Yung lyricine act angiogram para ma-check ko kung in, yung degree of involvement ng mata. Ng mata. Um, and other ancillary tests na uh, depending sa issue, sa makita kong findings. Yeah, but kung depend, and then at the first, ito medyo mahirap siya explain, but not all, but usually most patients or majority of patients, we will need to do a work up na nasa blood or other exams na hindi related sa mata. So, ito na yung sinasabi okay. ko na maraming conditions na pwedeng mag-cause nito na hindi sa mata. So, 
we have to work up lahat, no? Yung sa blood, we have to test for TB, syphilis, kahit wala ka pang sexual history na disposes you to it, we test that. Tapos depending mga tests for autoimmune conditions. So, i-work up ka namin, then depending din ulit dun sa results ng tests mo, let's see, for example, positive ka for TB. And your eye, yung eye findings mo is parang, parang mukha talagang TB sa eyes. Then we start you on anti-TB medications. So, okay. Or, or, or yung other infections, we start you on antibiotics. But yung pinaka, let's say, sabi natin, idiopathic ka or yung walang cause or autoimmune conditions, we usually give you anti-inflammatory uh, medication and that's the pinaka parang cornerstone of the treatment of mediatis is yung immune, parang you have to parang suppress your immune system. Kasi nga yung immune system mo siya nagulo-gulo niya. Dito. So we have to parang suppress it, quiet it down, uh. calm it down. Ganun. So then we do that by giving you, uh, usually we start with steroids. steroids. Uh -huh. so these, these are really strong anti-inflammatory drugs. No? Uh -huh. yeah. And other immunosuppressive drugs as needed, depending. Again, sobrang medyo mahirap siya explain, but um, it's very individualized per patient. No? Hindi siya one size fits all na uh, lahat ng patient, ganito yung treatment. Lahat ng patient may ganito. So, hindi, it's very individualized in the treatment. So, bawat isang patient iba. No? So, that's the yun yung medyo mahirap sa kanya and medyo matagal din yung gamutan niya. Hindi siya yung, uh -huh. hindi siya yung pa one week, one week lang kainom ng gamot. Hindi, we're not talking about, you know, uh -huh. we're talking about months and even years. No, baka six months onwards up to two years or even more. Baka ganun katagal yung, yung gamot. Yung process niya. Yes, hindi siya, um, some conditions are chronic na you really need medyo matagal talaga yung treatment mo. So, but ang, ang key is if you catch it early and you treat it early, then mas maganda rin yung magiging uh, vision. Yes. Yung marirating, mapreserve natin yung, yung vision. Siguro, Doc, with the way that you're describing it, um, inflammation, di ba? So, siguro nakakompare mm -hmm. ka siya with people that might have yung May yung, they just so happen to be born na may sensitivity, let's say, sa skin. Yes. Diba? Uh -oh. From one person to another, iba, diba? Exposed mm -hmm. kayo to the same thing, ibang reaction mo. Yes. So, uh, as much as a doctor like you would want to say, oh, sige, meron ka palang ganitong condition, I'll give you these pills for seven days, it will resolve. Pero hindi pala siya ganun. Kasi yes. depende sa cause, kung malalaman pa natin yung cause. Sometimes it's just a matter of, avoiding siguro certain conditions in your environment saka, hindi yung, or your lifestyle, no? Tsaka, kunyari, um, tayong dalawa, kunyari, tayong dalawa yung patient. Uh -uh. Pero tayo, let's see, merong same sakit. Kunyari, pareho tayong merong autoimmune condition na parehong pareho tayo. Yung uh -huh. response natin dun sa gamot, mati, it doesn't mean pareho tayo magre-respond ng pareho dun sa gamot na ibibigay sa'yo. No? So, uh -oh. ikaw, pwede ang ganda ng response mo na, uy, ganda, gumaling ka kagad, di ba? Yung isang patient, uh -huh. pwede, hindi siya masyadong mag-respond na maganda dun sa isang gamot. So, papalitan ka na naman ng gamot or then uh -oh. we'll try you a different drug, ganun. Tapos, kung hindi talaga pwede, then baka mamaya, you might need an injection na mismo ng anti-inflammatory drug sa mata. Pwede rin yun. Or, baka mamaya surgery yung kailangan yung isa, yung sa'yo, hindi. Ako, baka surgery, gano'n. So, sobrang ano, yung response to treatment, sobrang magkaiba rin yan per patient. Uh -huh. So, pag nagtitreat tayo ng uveitis, like, yung kung may nanonood dito na patient ko na may uveitis, I think every week talaga kami nagkikita, especially sa start, no? Like, kunyari, first consult mo, minsan, every week, follow up ka. Tapos hanggang pag medyo na-stabilize ko na yung condition mo, medyo tumatagal na yung follow-up mo. Minsan, every two weeks na, tapos hanggang mamaya. Monthly na. Yan. Tapos uh, patagal uh, uh. patagal. Kung hanggang yung, pag yung sa start na medyo sobrang namamaga pa yung mata mo, sobrang 
sobrang lagi talaga tayong magkikita, gano'n, no? So, lagi ka talaga yeah. nasa kinik. But, pag medyo, ano na, nag, po, nag-calm down. Nag-subside na. Mm-hmm. Pwede na longer follow-up. But, most of the time, yung mga patients with uveitis, they require parang lifelong uh, regular monitoring na to. Because yung, uh-huh. yung uveitis, yung, ano siya, once you have it, hindi, hindi na siya nawawala, no? Para siyang like diabetes na if yeah. you, when you're diagnosed with diabetes, forever ka na meron nun. And yung medications, yung diet mo, it, it controls your blood sugar, di ba? Pero pag hindi, uh-huh. ka, hindi ka minum nun, kinain mo lahat ng asukal na gusto mo. Na gusto mo. Oo. Uh-huh. The exercise yung, di ba? Parang uh-huh. pinabayaan mo, ganun mo, ganun. Then, ma, you will get all the complications, di ba? Parang ganun siya. So yung uveitis, once you're diagnosed, parang wala pa siyang cure. But what we do is we control the inflammation. Uh, we parang na yung hopefully hindi na siya bumalik. Or kung bumalik man siya, hindi naman siya every month bumabalik siya. <laughs> yung parang uh. baka mamaya every, I don't know, two years, three years, saka siya bumalik. Yung, yung hindi na siya kasing kasing active nung if uh-huh. eh, hindi mo siya treat mo. So, but yeah, hindi siya yung, wala siyang cure. It's uh-huh. a lifelong, lifelong condition. condition. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That you really have to manage, kumbaga, dok. Yes. And then, dok, what happens? So, let's say there are some patients na baka they just don't like getting their eyes checked or hindi nila na-realize na yung nararamdaman nila could be uveitis. Ano yung parang worst case scenario natin? What can happen if you don't get it treated? Blindness. As in so total, total yes. And marami na ako, maraming nakikita na, na blind. And ano siya, um, parang literally, uh, nagsha-shut down yung mata. No? Parang, oh wow, okay. It, and we use that term, no? parang nag-shut down na siya. Parang imagine yung computer na wala na. Matay. Na-overheat na, <laughs> napabayaan. Ganun. Yeah, hindi mo na siya mabuksan, parang ganun, no? So, yung mata mo, pag grabe na yung chronic inflammation, um, yung pinaka, ano nun, magsha-shutdown na siya, hindi na siya magproproduce ng tubig dun sa loob ng mata mo, maglalambot na yung mata mo. Oh, okay, okay. Kasi yung mata natin continuously produces aqueous humor. Yung parang, oh, uh, that so, keeps its shape. Uh, ano, yes, saka keeps it firm, di ba? Oo. So, yung pag-chronic na uveitis na napabayaan, um, nagsha-shutdown siya, no? Hindi na yan magpaproduce ng fluid. Tapos, lalambot na yan. And pwede na siyang mag-shrink or wala na, mabubulag na siya. But, pwede rin, okay. yung isang on the other side, pwede rin siyang mag-cause ng glaucoma. Okay, so... Oh, okay, okay. Kapag yun na... Uh, yung so, sobra mga, naman yung pag-produce. Yes, yeah, so no? yung mga possible complications natin. Tatarak, um, glaucoma, retinal detachment, optic nerve uh, na involvement. So, pwedeng mag-atrophy na optic nerve mo or optic neuropathy. So, mamamatay na yung nerve. Um, oh my gosh, okay. Oh, so, medyo morbid ba? <laughs> Pero, <laughs> parang, yung glaucoma naman, opposite yun, na mataas yung pressure. Pero, sa sobrang taas naman ng pressure, parang nasasakal naman niya yung nerve. Namamatay naman yung nerve. So, hindi naman din pwede na mataas masyado yung pressure. Tapos, hindi rin pwede na masyado mababa yung pressure. Masyadong naman. mababa. Tapos, yung analogy ko lagi dyan is yung parang gulong, no, na hindi pwedeng flat yung gulong ng car mo or ng motor mo. Hindi rin oh. naman pwede sobrang tigas na baka pumutok siya. Diba? So, yes, yes, oo. So, there's a specific na tama, right pressure ng mata natin. Kaya pag nagpapacheck up kayo sa eye doctor, laging siya check yung pressures ng eyes. No? So parang, pag maririg mo, okay naman yung pressure ng mata mo, parang siguro yung isip mo, bakit kaya, bakit kaya sinasabi ng okay yung pressure? So, uh-huh. diba? Kasi, it's parang one quick way to gauge the health of your eye. Diba? Kung tama yung pressure niya, then, diba? Either, yun, yeah. wala, ka, wala kang glaucoma, or yeah, so, hindi naman malambot, matang nag-shot. And then, Doc, um, with uveitis ba, komplikado ba yung process ng pag-diagnose nito? Or is, how is it detected? Um, be, ma- maraming, maraming, 
you get the conditions that are diagnosed clinically, ibig sabihin, uh-huh. just by the doctor seeing your eyes um, and by history and pag, pag tinanong ka niya, um, kaya niyang ma-diagnose. But usually, we need yun additional workup. No? So, ang purpose lang nun is, for example, meron kang namamagay mata mo, no? may uveitis ka. Binigyan kita kagad ng, let's say, steroid, anti-inflammatory. Eh, yung pala TB pala yung nagkakos or other infection pala yung nagkakos ng uveitis mo. Kasi hindi wala, hindi kita tinis, di ba? It, malalala siya, lalo siyang mag oh. Kasi infection yun eh, tapos binigyan kita ng pang-suppress ng immune system. So, parang, parang hindi makalaban yung katawan mo dun sa infection, di ba? So, lalong lalala siya, di ba? So, um, pwede kong ma-diagnose yan clinically, but usually I will need additional work up. Sabihin, kailangan pa katang ipatest more ng either sa katawan and other test sa mata para malaman ko talaga before kita lima uh-huh. treat ng tama. Okay. And then siguro, Doc, siguro related question to that. So kung uveitis is the condition na major you're afraid na yun pala ang meron mo, ibig sabihin nun, um, is teleconsult a good idea to, yes. to consult so, siguro with you? Yung teleconsult will just be a quick parang screening na parang matatanong lang kita about your history. No? Pero hindi ko ma-examine yung mata mo. So, yung teleconsult will not be enough. But pwede siyang intro na mas malalaman ko kung medyo suspicious ba ito for UVIs. And then I would suggest na puma- you have to come in for a face-to-face consult. So, yung teleconsult will really just be parang a quick screening kung you need further workup or not. But pag, pag UVIs in Pag meron ka talagang uveitis, hindi enough yung mag-uusap lang tayo. No? Kasi, as I hindi said, yung redness, yeah, hindi ko malaman. Yung pressure ng mata mo, hindi ko ma-check. Diba? Hindi ko, hindi ko ma-check kung ano yung level ng vision mo. Sobrang labo ba niya? Or, diba? So, hindi natin ma-assess yung degree nung, nung, nung severity ng, ng condition. No? But, pwede lang siyang quick screening na, ay, nako, medyo based yung sa symptoms mo, parang mukhang, mukhang medyo hindi to dry eye lang, o gano'n, diba? So, baka mukhang kailangan mo talagang pumunta for a consult. Okay. So, para it's a it's a way to, for you to kind of do the process of elimination. So, oh, kunyari, your initial consult, no? para ito lang nararamdaman ko. And then later on, based on what you find, mm-hmm. then you can recommend them na hindi, kailangan natin face-to-face consult na talaga. Yes. Okay. Uh-huh. So, um, actually, some of our viewers today, they also have questions for you. So, the okay. first question naman from M. Valencia Salvania. Um, for my mom, nilagyan po kasi ng lens yung dalawang mata niya. Then, yung kaliwang mata po, hindi nakakakita, nagdudugo daw po ang loob. Okay. So, first kay Ma'am Valencia Salvania, yung unang tanong ko, diabetic po ba yung mommy mo? Okay. So, kasi diabetes yung pinaka number one cause. I, I'm assuming baka senior, I don't know kung senior na yung mommy mo, but uh, common ng diabetes, no? And diabetes, diabetes is the most common cause na magdudugo yung eyes. So, yun yung tanong. If you can uh, comment again kung diabetic ba yung mommy mo, then baka mas, mas masagot yung question mo. Sige, so, pwede yung balikan natin. So, if she... Uh, if she comes so, again. The next question naman is from Eileen Delphine. So, mm-hmm. paano po ba kung dalawang eyes pareho ng may katarata? So, at Eileen, kung may katarak ka, for me, it's not, uh, actually, okay na diagnosis ang katarak. No? Um, kasi, ang katarak, it's a reversible cause of blindness or blurring of vision. Diba? Kasi, once you remove the katarak, babalik yung vision mo to normal. Assuming na katarak lang talaga yung problem mo. Okay? Assuming that you don't have any other uh, condition sa mata. Wala kang glaucoma, walang problem yung retina, yung cornea, wala kang uveitis. Assuming that it's just plain katarak, then kung dalawang mata meron, then both eyes need 
tracks surgery, but hindi at the same time, we usually do it sequential, meaning yung mas malabong mata muna, then after minimum of one week, we can already do the surgery of the other the eye. eye. Yes, uh, second eye. So no problem if both eyes have cataracts, then normally ganun naman talaga siya eh. Both eyes really have cataracts because it's a uh, part of aging. So, hindi naman pwedeng yung isang mata mo nag-i-age, tapos yung isa hindi, di ba? So, isa hindi. <laughs> unless, uh -oh. may uveitis ka sa isang mata, that can cause cataract in one eye. Uh -oh. so, so, what's important with this then, uh, if they get checked na, sige, yeah. is it really just cataract? And if yeah. it is, at least, um, relatively common and madalas mm -hmm. gawin yung cataract surgery, cataract surgery eh, so that you can get your eyesight back. So, ang advice ko lang kay Aileen is, before you have your cataract surgery done, just make sure na lahat ng parts ng mata mo na check and na rule out lahat ng possible na other conditions that could be causing yung paglalabo ng mata mo. No? So, once na na, na target natin na okay, cataract po talaga, yung nagpukos, then, tadali na yung cataract surgery. No? That's routine. Mabilis lang yan. But, yun nga, yung kung may iba tayong problem na madiscover, yun yung, yun yung mas mahirap na problem. Uh, so, pwede kasi unahin muna yung other condition. Before yes, kailangan muna natin. Kasi baka mamaya magkasisihan tayo na, eh, hindi naman pala cataract yung problem. Tapos, Tinanggal yung cataract. Tapos sasabihin na, hey, after opera, hindi naman luminaw yung vision ko. Diba? So, that's the importance of the pre-operative evaluation na tinatawag na before ka magpa-opera, na na-evaluate ng mabuti lahat ng parts ng mata mo para sure tayo na magiging outcome ng surgery mo will be yung talagang maganda. Diba? Yung talagang lilinaw yung mata mo. Okay. And the next question naman from Miranda Marim. Paano po yung, kung yung left eye sumasakit at malabong pareho yung mata? Okay. So, uh, o oh, sige, hindi ko na, hindi ko alam kung ilang taon na kasi si Ma'am Miranda. No? So, um, yung, and also the pain, paano ba yung, yung sakit? No? How would you describe yung right. pain? Diba? Kasi, Minsan, parang baka dry eye, it could be as simple as dry eye, but it could be something worse. Pwedeng glaucoma, di ba? Tumataas pala yung pressure ng mata niya, di ba? Pwedeng scleritis, which is uh, namamaga yung dito sa white part ng mata. So that, that can also cause pain. And yung malabo yung parehong mata, again, hindi rin natin, mahirap kasi masabi kung ano yung cause unless na examine mo. Kasi um, baka glasses lang pala yung kailangan mo, but yun na, baka meron kang cataract or meron kang retina problem, nerve problem, glaucoma, VIT. So, sobrang daming condition. So, kung malabo yung mata mo and may pain, it's better to have your eyes checked talaga by a doctor, an eye doctor. Oo. Siguro for a case like that, especially kapag may pain na involved, yeah. huwag nyo lang tiisin. Right? Yes. It's, it's one of those conditions na kumbaga yung katawan mo na mismo nagsasabi sa'yo yes, na there's something wrong. Kasi malalaman mo naman, di ba, sa sarili mo kung parang iba na yung nararamdaman. Di ba? Oh, so, kung may yung mo iba na, yeah, ano na, kasi again, di ba, the earlier na madiagnose yung sakit mo, the better din yung chances na gumanda yung vision. The next question naman, Doc, from Chriselle Fermo. Uh, ano po ang dahilan ng pamamaga ng talukap ng mata? Talukap. So, baka either pwedeng, pwedeng ano, uh, ano yun, nakalimutan ko talaga yung... Allergy? Uh, pwedeng allergy na nandun. Pwedeng allergy or yung style, yung uh, hordulum, no? Pwedeng yun. Uh Oo. -oh. Oh, um, kulite. Kulite or, yun yung common, kulite. Yun, yun, kulite. Yun, yun yung common na nagpukos. Pero pwedeng conjunctivitis din. Depende. Kung dito sa baba, parang mukhang puffy yung mata mo. Maraming forms of conjunctivitis din kasi, no? Yung pwedeng allergic, pwedeng viral, bacterial. Uh -huh. So, hindi ko rin alam, but maraming pwedeng cause infection yung 
isang cause or allergy pa din. So, kung hindi natatanggal yung kamamaga, better na mag-consult ka. If you want teleconsult, nakikita naman ng doctor yung labas eh. Pag yung problem mo, dito lang siya sa labas, Telling it teleconsult yun doon. Kasi pag pinaka- nag-usap kayo, makikita agad nung doctor, di ba? But yung anything sa loob ng mata, kahit i-zoom ko pa yung mata kong ganon, ganyan, di ba? Oo, di mo lalaman di mo, eh. Di makikita yung loob doon. Di mo malalaman eh. Kahit, kahit ilapit mo pa ng todo-todo yung mata mo doon sa camera, hindi ko malalaman kung ano yung nangyayari doon sa loob ng mata mo. No? I need a special machine to check inside, di ba? So, Pag yung sa eyelids lang, then I guess pwede kang mag-teleconsult. Okay. So yun, at least may options si eh, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Ito, Doc, interesting yung next question from Benvenido Abirin. Good afternoon po, Doc. May pag-asa po ba gumaling yung mata ko? Tinamaan po siya ng buko. Mm, okay. So, eto naman, yung uh, tinatawag natin na may trauma. Trauma sa mata. Uh, natama, nasuntok, naaksidente. Eto rin, maraming... Maraming possible na pwedeng complicated sa mangyari sa mata mo. No? So, hindi ko alam kung affected ba yung cornea mo, nagkaglaucoma ka ba, nagka-retinal detachment ka ba, so kaya malabo yung mata mo. So, eto, hindi ko rin alam kung ano yung cause, kung bakit malabo po yung mata ninyo, sir. Pero, mas maganda kung magpatingin ka para malaman natin kung meron pa talaga pag-asa. Kasi, Depende talaga yan dun sa part of the eye that's involved and kung, kung ano yung itsura niya. Then masasabi okay. talaga natin kung kakayanin pa tong operahan or kaya ba yung elaser or whatever treatment. Oh, dun natin masabi or like right then and there pag nakita ka namin, ay sir, parang medyo parang talagang wala na tayo magagawa. Ganun, di ba? So, Hindi ko po alam kung may pag-asa pa po yung mga mo. Pero sir, mas maganda patingin po kayo para para malaman po yeah. talaga natin kung mapapalinaw pa natin yung eyes nyo. Oo. And siguro yun yung tip, Doc, no? for patients na ganun, na-accidente sila for whatever reason, tinamaan. Hmm. Lalo na mga bata, nakipaglaro, may nasundot sa mata, or an adult, nakipagkawal. Yan kailangan nasundot, sa mga agad-agad yan. Ganun. Oo. So, kailangan talagang uh, ipatingin kasi as okay, much as... Asap yan. Asap. Pag may trauma, anything na trauma na tamaan yung mata mo, kailangan mo yung ipatingin. As in, agad-agad. Hindi mo siya pwedeng antayin na. Ah, parang gagaling lang siguro. Yeah, sobrang daming possible mangyari sa mata. Ito nga nagtataka ko eh. Bakit si, like si Manny Pacquiao, ewan ko ba... O, oh, di ba? Laging nasusuntok yung ano niya, face niya, oh. niya, pero okay yung mata niya. <laughs> so that means, at least let's sure. check the look. Oh, di ba? Right I'm after, sure after kailangan. Oh, nakikita yan. I'm sure before and after, chinecheck lagi yung mata niya, di ba? Kasi hindi naman pwedeng ganun yung trauma sa mata mo, tapos mapabayaan. So wala, wala lang. Di ba? Oo. It's, may mga nakita ko kahit sa side lang ng head, hindi hindi mismo sa mata, ha? Kahit matamaan lang like dito sa malapit sa area ng mata, nagkaka-problem sa mata. Alam mo yung, yung lens ng mata natin, pwedeng may may nakita na ako, nahuhulog siya. Oh my nahuhulog gosh. Siya. Oh. Yeah, with not direct hit, ha? But even sa side or... Oo, oh, oh, peripera like, lang. Na-accidente ka or tumama yung ulo mo, let's say, sa bekla or whatever, oh, di ba? Yung mga ganyang type, not, not direct hit, pwedeng makakos pa rin ng trom, ng ano, sa effect sa eyes yun. And then, Doc, ito, this this another interesting question. Doc, ano ang cat scratch disease? Paano ito nakaka-affect sa mata? So, yung cat scratch disease, it's a uh, one of it's a uveitis condition, no? So, um, usually, kaya ma- matat- pag tinatanong ng, ng history yung patient, tinatanong pati, meron ka bang pet dog? Meron bang pet cat? Di ba parang sasabihin siguro ng patient, bakit ka tinatanong ni doktor? Bakit meron akong oh, pet? Oo, ano sinalaman nun? Di ba? Oo. Kasi nga, meron yung ganyang conditions na may mga sakit na usually infection po na nakukuha natin 
sa animals, no? Like sa cats or sa dogs, no? Yan namang cat scratch disease na affect yung back part ng mata, no? So nagkakaroon yung tawag po dyan neuroretinitis, no? So uh, namamaga po yung optic nerve at saka yung macula, yung central part ng retina, and gumalabo yung vision. So, uh, yan, medyo specific na isura talaga yan. No? Pag nakita mo, medyo alam mo na. Pag nakita yan ng doktor, tatanoy ka, yan po ba kayong pet na cat? Yan, ganyan na yung mga tanong sa'yo ng doktor mo. Tas, yan. So, pagka ganun na yung mga tanong, medyo, ano na yan, baka nag-iisip na yan na something infection na, na nakuha mo sa pets, ganyan. So, um, ano yan, um, may nag na may treatment naman binibigay diyan no? but uh syempre uh, ano muna maganda kung ma-assess ka tapos may mga other test pa pong ginagawa diyan pwede rin natin ipa-test yung levels nung parang antibodies mo against yung kay sa Bartonella which is yung uh, organism so, yeah so for this particular condition doc hindi porket ang tawag sa kanya ay cat scratch it does not necessarily mean may kinalaman sa scratch. Yeah, pwede rin kasi yun. Pero pwede rin talaga siyang sa scratch, di ba? So, pero related kasi, kasi siya talaga sa cats. Basta so, ano, it, uh, it involves your pet, exposure to your pet. Uh, yes. Okay. So siguro yun, siguro if you're a pet owner, um, alam naman natin na na to pet owner na kapag meron kang inaalagaan, kasama na doon, di ba dadalhin mo siya sa vet, ina, ina-assure mo na healthy pet mo. So if you're able to do that for your pet, it's also a good idea na i-check mo rin yung sarili mo to make sure you're yes. doing well. Yes. Uh, and then this one, Doc, a uh, question naman from Rizel Navarra. What diet can you suggest to promote eye health, Doc, if you cannot reverse this condition? What is it? Ah. Normal, ang eye health kasi, well, ano, avoid, ang sinasabi lang natin usually, avoid UV exposure, di ba? Eat healthy. Yung pag-eat healthy, wala namang specific na yung para sa mata talaga. But in general, what's good for your body, di ba? Will be good for your eyes. Hindi man pwedeng puro carrots ang kainin mo, di ba? So, um, yeah, syempre, over, over ka naman sa vitamin A, hindi naman pwedeng over din yun. No? So, eat healthy UV, avoid UV exposure, tapos um, yung yung vitamin sa eyes, hindi ko yan, hindi ko yan nire-recommend sa lahat ng tao. Okay, so, uh, yung vitamins kasi for the eyes, it's specifically formulated for macular degeneration. Uh, yung condition okay. na yun. So, kung wala ka nun, Yung benefit kasi nung vitamins na yun, na pag-aralan talaga yun para dun sa condition na yun. Okay, so, hindi siya, for, kunyari for dry, marami kasi ako nakikitang gamot na parang miracle drug na kumbaga na kayang gamutin ang glaucoma, katara, I mean, not, 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 not dry, pati dry ay di ba parang, ah, edi, ikaw na, di ba? Parang, <laughs> parang kung meron palang gamot na ganun, bakit pa meron doktor sa mata? Inumin, lahat na lang ng tao, minum na lang nun. Diba? So parang, yung mga ganun gamot na for vitamins na parang masyadong nagsasabi na masyadong nag-overpromise nun. Technically, hindi mo talaga kailangan ng vitamins. Basta you get, you eat vegetables, diba? Yung that balanced diet yeah hindi ka nanin, you're not smoking diba oo yung kung may diabetes okay. kung may diabetes ka your sugar is controlled yun yun lang naman yung mga ano natin to yung advice to, talaga to promote the health of your eyes mm-hmm. siguro doc when it comes to um diet questions kasi uh, the important thing like to remember is just balance Yes. So, hindi, hindi mo kailangan mag-OA on one thing mm-hmm. to eat all the time. And it doesn't yeah, necessarily hindi. eliminate. Kunyari, hindi ka na mag-rewrite ever. Hindi na mag It's not Oo, hindi na mag Siyempre, kailangan mo lahat. Pati fish, ganyan, di ba? I mean, uh, kailangan mo mga omega-3 fatty acids, di ba? Kailangan mo rin ng vitamin B, lahat. Lahat ng vitamins, vitamin C, vitamin A. So, hindi naman pwedeng puro vitamin A lang. Kasi pwedeng magka-overdose naman yun. 
diba? So, mm-hmm. all about balance. Yes. And then, Doc, ito naman. Um, the next question naman from Tin Rimalia. Ano po kaya ang possible reason na paulit-ulit o matagal na gumagaling na conjunctivitis? Ayan. Hi, Ma'am Tin. <laughs> si Ma'am Tin, nurse natin siya dati sa... Mm, okay. Hello. So, yung paulit-ulit or matagal gumaling na conjunctivitis. Um, okay. So, yung one possible cause, yung bacterial conjunctivitis, medyo mahirap talaga yan gamutin. No? Parang medyo matagal talaga yung gamutin. Yan. But yung isang possible wedding cause could be a sexually transmitted condition. For example, chlamydia. Uh, chlamydia can cause conjunctivitis na medyo matagal talaga siya gumaling. Okay, na specific, medyo mas uh, ibang antibiotics ko yung kailangan natin dyan. Um, may iba, depende kasi sa itsura, no? But may iba, they start as conjunctivitis. Then afterwards, they develop like parang a lesion sa lids. Tapos minsan pala, nagiging parang something malignant or cancer siya, no? Na, so, okay. But depende kasi sa itsura, no? So may hirap. Mahirap din ma- kung bakit matagal siyang mawala. But yun yung uh, off the top of my head, yun yung dalawang naiisip ko na pwedeng bakit matagal. Depende gano'n na ba katagal? Diba? Uh-huh. And may other itsura ba or may nakikita ko bang other lesions na, na sa lids? Diba? Yun yung mga um possible na pwedeng bakit hindi siya gumagaling kagad. Kasi normally parang viral lang, mabilis lang mawala, di ba? Ah, uh, yeah. With medication, it kind of resolves by itself. O oh, sige, Doc. So, siguro I think that is one of our last questions. So, if anyone else has additional questions specifically about u- uveitis or any other eye-, eye care concern, then you can still add it in the comments below and then we'll, we'll try to get them, to get to them to give you the answers that you need. And then, Doc, si siguro, ma- they have any last advice, si siguro, ma- Si Ma'am Valencia pala, hindi siya nag-comment uh, ulit yung unang question natin. Oo, uh-uh, yes. Pero uh, yung pag nagdugo yung, pag nagdudugo yung mata sa loob, kailangan na niya talagang if, well, that's definitely there's something wrong sa retina. Kung talagang yung dugo sa loob, uh, there's something wrong sa retina and kailangan po talagang matreat po yan. Oo. No? Uh-uh, uh, and right. we don't know, you might need injection sa mata or laser or possible surgery na po, depende kung gano'ng katagal yung problem. So, better to have a retina specialist check your eyes. I mean, your mom's eyes. Yes. And anytime that they say the bleeding kasi yung concern, that's already a cause for concern, no, Doc? Ay, siya yata to. Wala po, Doc, sabi niya. Walang diabetes? Oo. So, siguro if she does, um, ah, send a report. Kung walang diabetes, tapos lumo, dumugo sa loob ng mata, then medyo mas suspicious ako. Okay. The, yung pwedeng dalawang possible cause is uh, vein occlusion. Uh, may nagbara po na ugat sa mata. Pwede pong, it's like a, some form of stroke uh, okay. inside the eye. Pwede po yun. Uh, it could be a vein occlusion or uh, it could be a uh, retinal tear na nag-cause ng retinal detachment. Ah, okay. Medyo mas serious okay. actually, no? Parang na walang diabetes. I, I suggest pa check mo ka agad yung mom, mom mo. And then, Doc, if we have any viewers today that want to schedule an appointment with you, where can they find you? So, mayroon akong clinics in Rockwell, Moa, and Alabang. Uh, you can check the schedule there or you can call uh, 8898-2020 for appointments. Okay. So thank you so much, Doc, for spending your afternoon with us. I know you had like a long day nang galing ka pa from your clinic. And if anyone wants to get their eyes checked at the clinic, we are flashing the numbers on the screen so you can call up directly the clinic or you can send us a message through our social media accounts. So thank you again so much, Doc, for spending your Friday with us. Thank you, Odds. And then for everyone else who's watching us today, naman, we do have a couple of promos that are relevant for you. 
So if you want to try to teleconsultation, let's say meron kayong dryness or itchiness or baka may pamumula sa mata na pakiramdam nyo, it might be some sort of infection, you can try our teleconsultation. Uh, it's just 300 pesos. It's still on, on a promo rate. Just set an appointment by texting or calling our teleconsultation hotlines. So that's 8-898-2020 8 or 0 9103 So if case naman na gusto niyong bumili ng bagong salamin or kailangan niyong magpa-replenish na eye medication, you can also visit www.asianishop.com. So uh, when you visit the website, available po dyan yung mga frames, uh, eyeglasses for kids as well as for adults, my sunglasses, my contact lenses, sports eyewear, PPEs like goggles or face shields, as well as accessories like Zeiss lens wipes at eyeglass cords. So depending na yan sa mga eye care needs nyo, especially if you're thinking about uh, madalas kayong magka-dry eye, baka kailangan nyo ng lubricants for the eyes, we have those available also. Uh, we also have a couple of ongoing promos. So the first, uh, kung nyari gumagamit kayo ng Hayabak, we have a buy five Hayabak, get one free. You can get that from the website. We also have yung buy two of the Bletha Gel and you get one Hayabak free. You can also get a free upgrade to the UV plus blue light lenses for daily specs or for the kids specs frame. So whether adult ang gagamit o bata, meron po tayong free upgrade. We also have some electronic GCs na whether you want to buy it for yourself or for someone you love. So the first, we have your Asian Eye Family Eye Care Package for 5840 So perfect yon for a family of four, two adults, two children. You get a full checkup um, at one of our clinics. We also have the LASIK Body Package. Meron kang available na two LASIK screenings for only 3,900 pesos. So that's a very good deal. Um, it's a good time to get your eyes checked to find out if LASIK is right for you because we are celebrating our 20th anniversary this year. So if you're planning to get LASIK done, it's a good time to do it. We have some uh, great rates and we do have 12 months installment for those that are interested. So again, if you are interested in some of our, um, our services or our products, you just visit AsianEyeShop.com. We also have um, a lot of discounts for our other services so aside from LASIK. We also have a discount for cataract surgery and retinal injections. So for more information, visit AsianEyeInstitute.com or just send us a message to our social media accounts. We do reply to those questions in case you need some assistance. So again, thank you everyone. It's a Friday, it's the end of another week. Uh, we'd like to thank your Facebook Live viewers. So let's all take care for ICE. Um, again, it could be as simple as namumula yung mata or it could be something more serious. But Whatever the concern is, just know that you can ask your Asian eye doctor for help. So please continue to stay safe. Bye, everyone.